Good evening and welcome to MTV's News Update for today, April 20, 2022. I'm Sandy Ramutar for Stabot Talk Headlines. Jagdu says AP and UFC to achieve 100% renewable energy was a fairy tale target. Major General retired Joe Singh to head Natural Resources Fund Board. Ghana considering formation of national company to manage all resources. And in sport, Russian and Belarusian players banned from Wembley in 2022 tournament. Now for the news in details. Considerations are in place for the formation of a national oil company which will manage the resources of all auctioned oil blocks. Here is more. Vice President Dr. Bara Jagdil says the PPPC administration is looking to establish a national oil company to manage oil resources if new areas of exploration are not sold to investors. He made this revelation Tuesday while participating in a policy dialogue as part of the 2022 Bloomberg NEF New York Summit. According to Dr. Jagdew, there still are several unallocated areas available for the production and exploration of oil. At the moment, when it comes to partnering with investors, Ghana works on a first-come, first-serve basis. However, with the increase in interest in Ghana's oil supply and the need for more oversight of this non-traditional resource, the government is looking for ways to improve partnerships and secure better deals. To auction these resources, or which we are exploring now, whether we can vest them in an oil company, national oil company, but play a very passive role as a passive investor and get a strategic developer to work within that company to take shares and to operate the company first. The vice president also revealed that a decision on the auctioning of the available blocks will be made by September. With this new system in place, the company that decides to offer the most money for the identified area will be allowed to operate there. Meanwhile, Middle Eastern investors have already indicated on being Ghana's strategic partner should the government choose to establish the national oil company. Ford and a partnership with ExxonMobil also remains on the table. Authority General and Minister of Legal Affairs Anil Nandlal is of the firm belief that the change to Parliament's Public Accounts Committee quorum will enhance accountability. Here is Shumar Alin with the details. Following the passage of a motion by Minister of Parliamentary Affairs and Governance Gil Teixeira, which sought to adjust the standing orders governing the Public Accounts Committee PAC, Many persons from civil society have come forward, labeling the move as a blow to transparency. However, Attorney General Anil Nandlal has defended the change while contending that it will enhance transparency. During his Tuesday night issues in the news commentary, the AG noted that the committee is chaired by the opposition with the expectation that they scrutinize the government. What we found happening was because the committee is scrutinizing the AP and U AFC years in office, 2016 and 2017, three members of that committee, three opposition members, can come together and hold, uh, make a quorum and start the meeting if the government people are late and proceed to rush through accounts relating to the years that the AP and new AFC was in government. The AG added that the previous quorum did not allow equity and transparency. We have changed it to say, look, the opposition remains the chair and balance it. Let there be equity. Let there be parity. So put the opposition is one as the chairman, put two government and two opposition. So you have a five-member committee that should form the quorum. What is wrong with that? Last Wednesday, a majority vote by government members of parliament saw the motion passed in the National Assembly to change the number of persons required for a valid PAC meeting, increasing from three to five. Minister Teixeira, who moved the motion, said that it allows for active participation between both parties. The PAC, which an opposition MP chairs, usually meets on Mondays to examine the audited accounts presented in the Auditor General's report. Reporting for MTV's News Update, I am Shamar Allen. 
President Dr. Yafanali has appointed Major General Retired Joseph Singh as the Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Natural Resources Fund of Guyana. David Lamy and Carlin Rodriguez, Dustin Barrow and Ramesh Duku were also appointed to serve on the Board of Directors. The appointees are expected to take their oaths shortly. You're watching MTV's News Update. More news on the other side of the break. Stay with us. Regent Paint from the U.S., a brand that's recognized worldwide. Special wholesale prices starting at $3,400 for the emulsion and $3,800 for the oil. Four gallons bucket for just $12,000. Also, the royal paints were crafted for people with a budget. Special introductory price on the semi-gloss top coat for just $1,500 per gallon and the roof and floor paint for just $5,500 for 1.5 gallons. Come and visit our showroom at Lot 140B Kwamina Street or call telephone 622-0601 or 504-3908 for more information. Grab onto these special prices with 30 shades and more to choose from while stocks last. Let's paint Guyana, everybody. When reliability is not an option, you need a supplier you can trust. This skilled technician depends on Forfan and Mendes for heavy-duty tools. This landscaper earns a living using still equipment. High rates of production and recovery lead to this sawmiller trusting his operation to wood miser. Mothers trust the water filtration systems for the health of their families. Thanks to the automatic backup systems, you'll never be left in the dark again. Forfan and Mendes, offering you solutions you can depend on. by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26 or you can buy a quick pick for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily Monday through Saturday to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket today could make you rich today. Are you building or renovating your home? Then come to Beeson for a wide range of aluminum and UPVC windows and doors. Get from single hung sash, on it, casement, sliding windows, plus sliding and swinging doors. All our products can be customized and fitted with insect screens and are sealed tight to withstand harsh weather conditions. At Beeson, we also carry commercial, glass and French doors, showcases, aluminum louvers, curtain walls, aluminum rails, plus sliding and frameless shower doors. So look no further. Visit our showroom today at lot 1228A. Echoes Industrial Site or call 622-4197 or 623-4197. Peace on windows and doors. Filled with pride in Guyana by Guyanese. This is MTV's News Update. Welcome back. While addressing a summit earlier in the week, Vice President Dr. Bharat Jagdu called out the AP and UAFC coalition for setting a fairy tale target for renewable energy, saying that it is impossible for any country to achieve the target set out by them. Find out more in this report. Their Partnership for National Unity Alliance for Change in 2016 made a commitment to the international community to achieve 100% renewable energy in Guyana by 2025. However, Vice President Dr. Bart Jagdi, while participating in a policy dialogue as part of the 2022 Bloomberg NEF New York Summit, stated that this commitment was just a fairy tale target, while noting that it is impossible for any country to achieve such. Just a, a paper target, just to satisfy and to look ambitious. This happens a lot globally with green uh, the target greenwashing. Furthermore, he highlighted that the coalition had no plans in the pipeline to back up the commitment they had made. This again, the vice president noted, proved that the coalition's commitment was unrealistic. 
He explained that when the People's Progressive Party Civic Administration took up office in 2020, a clear plan consisting of three projects was developed. This plan, the Vice President explained, will see Guyana achieving a target of 70% renewable energy, which will include a solar energy farm, a gas-to-energy initiative, and hydroelectricity projects by 2024. With this target on board, Dr. Jagdu maintains that the cost of electricity locally will see a 50% reduction, which will mean more access to finance and cheaper costs for goods and services locally. That although we're going to be an oil and gas producer, we can still be globally responsible. We can work towards a net zero target and yet fulfill the energy needs of the world. Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs Anil Nadala has dismissed claims made by some sections of society that the construction of the international airport and the stadium in Barbies will be a white elephant. Shamar Allen tells us more. Despite claims that the construction of the international airport and the stadium in Burbis will be a white elephant, Attorney General Anil Nandlal said the government will pursue its developmental agenda for the country. He said these projects will be the economic breakthrough for the county. We will invest. We will take the risk. We, we will do that. And we have no regrets in relation to the pursuit of those plans and those objectives. So we are not going to take those criticisms seriously and we will proceed. Minister Nanlal referred to the national stadium that was built in Providence East Bank Demerara, which was once being described as a white elephant. Today, the national stadium is being used as a venue for the hosting of local and international events. If we put these facilities in Barbies, we believe these facilities by themselves will create the economic opportunities, will create the job opportunities, will create the developmental platforms that are required for the economic takeoffs. Last week, President Irvin Ali announced that an Ogle-type airport will be built at Rose Hall and a sports stadium will be built at Palmara Quarantine. Reported for MTV News Update, I am Shamar Allen. More news coming up after the break. How fast is fiber? Think fast. GTT Fiber has three packages with download speeds of 50, 100, and 150 megabits per second. That's fast enough to stream movies and music, to chat with Gran and Fran, to study and more. What would you do? Upgrade to GTT Fiber today and don't get left behind tomorrow. It happens. Your septic tank is full. All the waste from your toilet goes into your septic tank through the sewage line. When your tank is full, the two most common indicators are an overflowing tank and an overflowing toilet. It is recommended that Sivan's Waste Management empty your septic tank every two to three years to avoid any embarrassment. And before you can say, shh, it's gone. Call Sivan's Waste Management today at 218-1455 or 218-1156. The revenue Ghana receives from oil production increases with the startup of each new offshore development. So far, lease of phase one and two are projected to bring in around one billion US dollars this year. A third project at Payara and a fourth at Yellowtail are already approved. Combined, these projects will generate over 800,000 barrels of oil per day by 2025 and more than quadruple the oil revenues for Guyana. Looking for fresh, tender, and flavorful meat? Then check out Rosignol Butchery for steaks, burgers, sausages, minced meat, fish, and chicken. For a tasty, attractive cocktail, we have a wide variety of packaged deli meats and cheeses to decorate your platter. We also stock a wide assortment of canned goods, seasoning salt, sauces, and marinade, all in a highly hygienic, welcoming atmosphere with warm and welcoming staff to cater to all your needs. Rosignol Butchery, we meet your needs. Degrees of 74 Church Street, Georgetown. Telephone number 223 Are you running around looking for construction materials? Well, run down to Lens for affordable, high quality building supplies. 
We have the widest range of grade A floor and wall tiles in any shape, size and designs. And all types of ceramics, porcelain glazed and full body porcelain. We stock the largest collection of large format tiles. Check out our porcelain slabs as big as 10 feet by 4.5 feet. Add a bit of elegance with our large range of decorative molding. Our line of PPG paints will give you vibrant colors that won't fade. With our wall and ceiling gypsum system, it's light, durable and fast. So come down to Lens at 136 Cherry Street, which is next to Buddy's and Pizza Hut for that 31 years of Lens quality. You're tuned to MTV's News Update. President Dr. Fanali has urged Zimbabwean firms to invest in Ghana as the two countries advance bilateral cooperation in key areas. Here's more. President Dr. Irfan Ali has said that partnerships with like-minded countries and institutions are key to achieving the sustainable development goals of eradicating poverty, ending hunger, achieving food security, improving nutrition, and promoting sustainable agriculture. It is against this backdrop that the head of state encouraged companies from Zimbabwe to explore joint ventures and investments in Guyana. We also stand ready to enhance our collaboration with Zimbabwe at the multilateral level to advance the interests of our two countries and regions on issues high on the international agenda, particularly those relating to climate change. Meanwhile, non-resident ambassador of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Ignatius Muzimba, expressed hopes that Zimbabwe can benefit from Guyana's expert knowledge in rum production. There is a need to explore and tap potentials of our two countries for further development of our two peoples. Guyana has developed expertise in rum production it may hope that Zimbabwe can benefit from your country's technical expertise for the mutual benefit of our two nations. Reporting for MTV News Update, I am Shamar Allen. The full return to face-to-face -face classes are scheduled to return next Monday. This is according to a schedule posted on the Education Ministry's Facebook page, Pupils in Year 2 Nursery. Pupils in grades 5 and 6 primary and students in grades 9, 10, 11 and 12 secondary will be returning to schools on Monday. On Thursday, April 28, pupils in grades 3 and 4 primary and grade 8 secondary are expected to return to school, while on Tuesday, May 3, year 1 pupils in nursery, those in grades 1 and 2 primary and students in grades 7 secondary will make their return to face-to-face -face classes. We now join Shimmer Allen with tonight's score rundown. Attorney at law Narvan Singh was today granted bail in the sum of $100,000 for allegedly using racial slurs against a policewoman. Singh of Middle and Cummins Street, Georgetown, was hauled before Chief Magistrate Anne McLennan in the Georgetown Magistrate's court and denied the charge when it was read to him. The charge stated that on March 20, 2022, at the corner of Middle and Cummins Street, Georgetown, by means of words spoken in a public place, he willfully excited and or attempted to execute hostility and ill will against Seanette Bowlers on the ground of her race as an Afro-Guyanese. The attorney was ordered to refrain from contacting the victim and the magistrate adjoined the matter to May 18th. In her lawsuit filed with the High Court, Bollers, through attorney at law E.U. Anderson, stated that Singh approached her on the night in question and chased her out of the property, forcing her to abandon her post and duties for the night. The policewoman argued that in chasing her out, the attorney at law used the following words to her in a loud and aggressive manner, which amounted to defamation and her character. 
Following the ordeal, the woman said she fled the scene and walked a couple of miles to another location in Georgetown in the dark of the night alone. In fact, she noted that she is in receipt of professional counseling and a therapy to help restore normal sleep and eating patterns ravaged by the slander and attendant events. Finally, Alex Turpin, who is accused of killing her reputed husband, was deemed a free woman after being found not guilty of a murder charge. Turpin, formerly of Lodge, Georgetown, was on trial for the capital offense before Justice Joanne Barlow and a 12-member mixed jury in the high court. She had denied the charge which stated that on July 2, 2016, she murdered Shawin Johnson. Following the close of the prosecution's case, Turpin lawyers Damian De Silva made a no-case submission on her behalf. The no-case submission was upheld by Justice Barlow, who subsequently directed the jury to return a formal verdict of not guilty. Turpin and her lover, Stefan Barlow, 39, were initially tried for the man's murder last year. But after the jury returned hung, they were further remanded to prison pending a retrial. Further, in March 2021, Barlow appeared before Justice Bassington Reynolds and pleaded guilty to the lesser offense of manslaughter, admitting that he unlawfully killed Johnson. He was sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. Reports are that Turpin and Johnson shared a child and lived together at Chapel Street Lodge, Georgetown. It was reported that Johnson arrived home on July 2, 2016 and found Turpin in bed with another man. A heated argument ensued between the two, which escalated into a fight. During the ordeal, Turpin and the other man reportedly dealt Johnson several stabs about his body with a knife and crowbar. Following the incident, Johnson was hospitalized and Turpin and the man were charged with attempted murder. However, after the man succumbed to his injuries, the charge against them was upgraded to murder. Reported for MTV Court Roundup, I am Shamar Allen. We now take a look at tips for healthy living, brought to you with kind compliments of Dabby's Variety. Boss, I get him in. Follow the court, follow the court. This is the long milk pie. Ah, oh, boss. I confuse I say milk is the key to health and power. Boss, milk is milk, man. <laughs> Naturo milk is the best milk on the market. Yeah, Naturo, Naturo. Natura! Natura! Yeah! Bring the slim and healthy, slim and, healthy. and the full cream! Holy cream! Holy cream! Natura milk powder is a better milk! Sleep paralysis is a temporary inability to move that occurs right after falling asleep or waking up. Individuals remain aware during episodes, which frequently involves troubling hallucinations and a sensation of suffocation. This is according to the WebMD website. One of the major causes of sleep paralysis is sleep deprivation or a lack of sleep. A change in sleep schedule, sleeping on your back, the use of certain medication, stress, and other sleep-related problems such as narcolepsy may also play a role. If you wake up before this stage ends, you may realize that you are unable to move or speak. A subset of people also experience hallucinations. This can include a feeling of forebodying, the sense that someone is in your room, the sensation of something pressing on your chest or choking you, an image of a monster, witch, demon, or other or menacing figure. It is normal to experience occasional episodes of sleep paralysis and no treatment is necessary. If you have another sleep disorder, treating that problem will usually help prevent paralysis as well. The most important thing you can do to reduce your risk of having an episode is to get plenty of sleep at least 8 hours per night. You should also try keeping a late on stress and switch into a new position if you typically sleep on your back. In some cases, if you are troubled by frequent episodes of sleep paralysis, your doctor may recommend that you see a sleep specialist for further evaluation. Boss, I get him in. Follow the court, follow the court. This is the long milk pie. Ah, oh, boss. I confuse I say milk is the key to health 
and power. First milk is milk, man. <laughs> Natura milk is the best milk on the market. Yeah, Natura, Natura. Natura, Natura, yeah. Bring the slim and healthy. Slim and healthy. And the full cream. Holy cream, holy cream. Natura milk powder is a better milk. The ISG and MTV's sport update comes up after the break. Stay tuned. Pison Windows and Doors is having a big New Year sale. Hurry now and save on aluminum sash windows with insect repellent. Going only for $14,900. VAT inclusive. Available in black or white frames. Tinted or reflective glass. Also at Beeson's. Buy 10 windows and get one bathroom window absolutely free. Offer available while stocks last. So hurry to Beeson Windows and Doors. Lot 1228 Echoes Industrial Site and save. The Central Housing and Planning Authority has employed the services of Rangers and we are kindly asking you, the members of the public, for your full cooperation as we seek to bring order and semblance to communities under our management. Our Rangers are responsible for the monitoring of schemes for contravention under the Tongue and Country Planning Act and agreement of sales issued to allottees. Responding appropriately to reports made by members of the public or allottees in schemes where there are illegal activities in contravention of the CHMPA's policies and the Tongue and Country Planning Act to undertake investigations into report on the misuse of the roads, squatting, animal nuisance and dumping of garbage and derelict vehicles in schemes. Issue notices for illegal construction and letters regarding penalties to be paid for the storage of materials on the roads within our schemes. Our rangers will be properly identifiable at all times as they have all been outfitted with the agency's badge. From time to time they will be in your community so in order for them to function effectively and better serve you, your cooperation is needed. A message from the Central Housing and Planning Authority. Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens available in tinted or clear complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals. Fibertech materials are used in a multitude of ways from repairing and fabrication of auto body, fishing and household items. We have available various fiberglass mattings, resin, mold releases, brushes and rollers for all of your repair needs. We offer technical advice and free training to ensure you get the job done. For further information call us at 2206907 or 2209192. Over the years, ISG has been providing all sectors across Guyana with quality products and outstanding customer service. Proud distributor of NP and Ultra lubricants, engineered for tropical conditions. International trucks and parts, leading the change. SEM machinery, a Caterpillar brand, SKF bearings and mounted products, NAPA batteries, Tide power generators, discover the greatest source of power. Industrial Supply of Guyana Inc., the best opportunity to make the right choice. Russian and Belarusian players will not be allowed to compete at Wimbledon this year because of the invasion of Ukraine. Men's World No. 2, Daniel Medvedev of Russia and Women's World No. 4, Arna Sabalenka of Belarus are the highest ranked players to be affected. Players from both countries have been allowed to compete on a tennis tour but not under their national flags. This is according to BBC Sport. Wimbledon takes place from 27th of June to 10th July. It is understood that all England lawn tennis club will confirm the move later on Wednesday. Sabalenka reached the semi-finals of last year's tournament, while Medvedev, who has been announced as one of the star draws at the Grace Court warm-up event at Hottingbos in the Netherlands today, reached the fourth round. Russian wall number 15 Anastasia 
Pabu Chenkaba, who called for the war to stop early this year in 18 drunk Victoria Arzaenka of Belarus, will also miss out. Russia's Audrey Rublev is eighth in the men's standings, with compatriot Karin Karchinov to 26. Russia was previously banned from defending its Davis Cup and Billie Jean King Cup team titles after the country's invasion of Ukraine, a military operation supported by Belarus. The Women's Tennis Association and the Men's Association have suspended their combined event scheduled to take place in Moscow in October. The International Tennis Federation has also cancelled its events in the country. President of the Ghana Rugby Football Union Ryan Day has been impressed with the turnout of women and girls in the recently launched Nursery Academy as he seeks to revive the standard of the women's game in Ghana. The Ghana Rugby Football Union launched their Nursery Academy last month in collaboration with the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports through the National Sports Commission. This was the seventh local academy out of 12 to be launched this year. GRFU President Ryan Day said the academy has seen a massive turnout since its establishment. The GRFU has managed to revive the women's national team and now, through the Nursery Academy, there are more women and girls being introduced to the sport at a grassroots level. We, we are happy to have uh, young um, females or women mm. trying to come out to try the sport. Also, we have some older ones as well that, will, that reached out to us and we will have them as well. Uh, maybe on the Sundays, so we can have women's rugby again back at the helm of rugby in the Caribbean and also in South America. He noted that on most days, the Nursery Academy consists of either mostly female players or an almost equal ratio of males to females. The Academy is operating in tandem with the in-school rugby programs which were launched earlier this year. Students from the North Georgetown Secondary School, Christchurch Secondary and Queen's College all have rugby clubs. These students train in their schools during the week and most come out to the academy on Saturdays in the National Park to train with other grassroots players. Just the fact that we have uh, children eager to play rugby, it's a win for the sport. Uh, our future is bright in these children. I think this is one of the things that uh, Previously, we, we overlooked, and now we, we're in a position where we, we can rewrite those wrongs that were, were done in the past, and we are looking forward to it. Uh, like I said, uh, the children are the future, and the future of rugby looks bright. The academy is expected to culminate in a major tournament this August. At the ending of the August school term, there will be a big rugby festival where all the schools that the YDOs went out to will have uh, a competition, a touch competition. So I'm very excited about that and the children are as well. Wales will play Ireland in Cardiff in the first match of the 2023 Six Nations with England travelling to Dublin in the tournament's last game. Ireland, who finished second in this year's table, entertained champions France in the second round of matches. This is according to BBC Sport. Italy, who won their first match in the tournament since 2015 by beating Wales in Cardiff last month, play Wayne Payback's men at home on 11th of March. There is no repeat of the Friday night fixture that returned in 2022. Wales played France at the Principality Stadium on Friday 11th of March in front of a crowd of about 63,000, some 11,000 short of a capacity. The tournament runs from February 4 to 18th March. That brings us to the end of Sport Update, which was brought to you with the kind compliments of ISG for after the break. Get the right seal right now from Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc., your immediate SKF sealing solutions. The SKF seal jet machine is capable of building seals from 5 millimeter to 600 millimeter in diameter in under five minutes. With technical support readily available, you can get a customized seal to suit virtually any industrial application, like buffer, rod, wiper, and piston seals. SKF seal jet machine, now at Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc.
And that brings down the curtain on tonight's newscast. But before we go, here's a reminder for of our top stories. Jaguar says AP and UAFC to achieve 100% renewable energy was a fairy tale target. Major General retired Joe Singh to head Natural Resources Fund Board. They are considering formation of national or company to manage oil resources. And in sport, a Russian and Belarusian players banned from Wimbledon 2022 tournament. Catch for Robert Cast tomorrow at 6 hours 30. Don't forget to like our Facebook page where the news can be viewed live at 19 hours 30. You can also check out our website at mtvgy.com for these and other stories. On behalf of our news and technical teams, Sani Ramutar Singh. Stay safe and goodbye for now.